Hi, this is Sue from Otterbein Senior Life here in Marblehead. Today I'm going to talk to you with our Director of PT, Mackenzie, and she's going to show us some great exercises that you can do at home to strengthen your core. Um, during the winter, you don't need a whole lot of equipment just to make yourself stronger so that you're safer when you're outside. Mm -hmm. So go ahead, Mackenzie. Okay, um, so some general exercises that you can just do um, just to stay active indoors. And I kind of, uh, I'm going to show you a way you can do it just for strengthening. And then I'm going to show you a way that you can make it a little bit harder and add that balance aspect of it. Um, a lot of people say that one thing that goes quicker than others is your balance as far as that goes. So we're gonna try and do some strengthening, show you some balance, and working on some core exercises. Um, so one that I tend to show people, you can do these seated as well, but I'm gonna show you them standing, and you can do them at a kitchen counter where you have something you can hang on to. You can do them where you have a chair, and you can even hang on to the back of the chair while you do some of these. Um, so I'll show you these first. So the first one I'm gonna show you, is you can stand here and hang on and you're just gonna march your legs up and down. Um, so this is one and you can do as many as you want. I always start people off with 10 of them, but everyone's different. So if you can tolerate 20, 30, do as many as you feel like where you get a good pump. Um, so those marches are one of them. Another one that you can do is hamstring curls, just kicking those leg backs and doing these exercises standing or like I said, some of these can be incorporated sitting as well. Another one that's really good just for circulation to keep the blood flowing in your legs and keep the strength up for, especially for walking, is just those heel and toe raises. So you're gonna be rocking back and forth on your heels and your toes. So that's another one. And there's, we move our hip three or four different ways. So we move our hip forward. So doing kicks forward and you can do kick backwards. And the whole time you're doing this, you don't really wanna be leaning forward with your upper body as well. You kinda of wanna keep that nice strong core, nice strong trunk while you're doing all these exercises with your legs. So you can kick back and you can also kick to the side. And an extra one that you can add in is also kicking in front of that other leg, kinda of getting that inner thigh um, muscle working. And so all of these, Oh, I, I forgot one. Another one that's really good, and this will help with transfers, even just getting up and out of a chair, is doing, I call them mini squats. So you don't have to go down very far, and you wanna make sure when you do go down that you're keeping those knees behind your toes just to save your knees. So we're doing a little mini squat here, and we're coming up. And that one, again, you can do 10 times or as many as you feel like you're getting a good pump in your legs. And that kind of works, that functional strength in your legs. Um, so a way that I can make this a little bit harder and do some of these exercises is without hanging on, because that can get a balance aspect in it as well. Just doing some of these exercises, marching, kicking to the side, forward, any of that without with the upper hand support is gonna create that balance. Um, so I'm gonna move over here, it's a little colored, I apologize, we're gonna move over here. I'll show you just some stuff you can do on the mat. And I'm gonna grab real quick to my ball, oh, hang on. Okay, so one thing that we do in, in therapy, especially with core, um, people don't even realize how beneficial it can be just to sit unsupported. Using that, a lot of us will sit back on our chairs and we're not using that core strength. So just sit up nice and tall, engage all those core muscles. And even you can do these sitting or standing. I'm gonna show you sitting unsupported. So one thing you can do, you can grab a pillow, a weight, or you can do it without any weight, but I take the ball in front of me and I'm doing some twists here. So important thing with this is that you're following through with your upper body as well. It's not just the arms moving, you want the whole upper body to move to really get those side core muscles engaged. Um, so that's one that we do a lot for core strength. Another one is just seated, it's a seated march, but you're adding in that crunch. So you're getting this where I'm kind of crunching but bringing my knee forward. So that's another great one for your core that you can do um, as well. And just doing that right there. And that's a good one. Um, I'm trying to think of any other ones that I bring. We do the side and we do the crunches 
Um, I think lastly, I wanted to add just a little clip on another balance, if that's okay. Um, we're gonna do at home, if you have a pillow or something that's soft, and this is really good for your balance, and I recommend you doing this in front of a surface where you have a steady surface you can hang on to. Um, you know, you may think your balance is great, but always just have that safety. So one thing you can do at home is throw a pillow on there, and you can step on this pillow, and that's going to make it, you feel a little unsteady, and that's normal. But you can just sit here like this and let go, and that's going to help work on your balance as well, because your body's used to you being on a nice hard surface. This is something simple at home that can help work on your balance with minimal equipment, with a pillow. You can even um, advance this by standing on one leg and kind of letting go for a few seconds and that's gonna challenge your balance. Put your feet together. And even one thing that people don't realize that you can also do to work on your balance is close your eyes. Now I can hang on here, stand on my pillow and I can close my eyes. And that's gonna help work on my balance for like if I'm in the shower and I'm washing my hair or anything like that. So those are just a few of the common ones that we do here in therapy and that you guys can do as well at home with minimal equipment to try to maximize your strength, especially during the cold and these crazy times, so. Okay, well thank you Mackenzie, those are great exercises and I'm sure that our potential residents and folks out there will get to try them all out at home. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, bye-bye.